Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, oh boy, it's been a long time with me in front of the camera. I watched a whole bunch of makeup in front of me, ready to show you guys some bomb looks. Also, lots of makeup. So, it's, so for today's makeup look, I am going to be doing a black eye look. There might be some glitter, we're not sure. But I'm going to be doing a black eye look. So you better get your headband or get your wig cap out because, because your hair is about to throw off with all this wonderful glam on my face. So let's get started. Like I said, um, in the past videos that have been all deleted, I'm so deleted, I'm sorry. But the videos that I've said in the past, there are three stages to my makeup routine. There's the beginning, the main compon component, and the final touches. For example, the final touches could be an eyeliner, a lipstick, a lip gloss. It could be those. But the main component is the eyeshadow, um, maybe face paint, stuff like that. And the beginning stage is your daily glam on first. Now that I have explained all of that, just a warning, this might get a tiny bit messy depending on the materials that you're going to be using. You'll have to use these, these materials, these are just what I have on hand. And use a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty in, you know you're going to get dirty no matter what so without further ado let's get started so first off we're going to start with the first base and the base that and the first step sorry excuse my words and excuse the background i was watching tv earlier um the first step that you're going to do is the main base and the first step you're going to do of that is it's going to go lotion foundation concealer wait sorry conceal <laughs> lotion concealer foundation prep powder heavy drag powder detail your eyes w w with, with the powder and also do you know the final touch with the powder with a puffy brush basically Without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to take my lotion. Like I said in my previous previous videos, you can basically use lotion for anything. But what I do is if you have a hand sanitizer container, even just a big bottle or a mini one, you can wash this out and put lotion in it. And then just take it and like it's a little travel bottle to go with you anywhere. It can be any lotion, but I suggest coconut lotion is the best if you want a scent or just regular lotion and I we would like that much but if you need more while you add it or if your face might need it then just use that to make a good smooth skin and like I say in my videos it is almost like glue but warning don't put too much because if you put too much on your face then you're basically not going to be able to open any of the products which I think y'all have seen that before and <laughs> it does not go well the behind the scenes does not go well there's a lot of mess I have to clean up if I have to if my um, lotion is not put on correctly and the amount that I have on isn't the correct amount or it's overdosed but since I have a bunch of zits and a lot of pores under my eyes I have to put more so if you have lotion or like this it's right here and you want to do um, maybe just a drag queen look or just some regular day to day please put at least two pumps of lotion like I just showed you so that can get fold in not fold in um, that can get merged onto the onto the face and onto the base that we're doing the makeup on Okay, so on to the next step. So our next step is our concealer. This is the L'Oreal Paris 
inflatable full wear more than concealer um and if you look on the front or the back of any makeup product there is the fluid ounces in the milliliters so with this particular concealer it has 0 0.33 fill ounces in, in 10 milliliter bottle so I'm just going to open this and some appliers may um, may have a big tip like this. You see me use concealer that has like a small tip, which is fine, but I suggest using a big tip. You don't have to do a lot of dipping. So yeah. And as I'm doing, if you don't, if you have pores like me, put a lot of concealer. I mean, put a lot. I mean, just do. I'm going to show you. Just do a swatch like that. That's kind of a lot, and that's a decent amount for an eye. And if you also have um, zits, you can cover those. Don't put a, tons of concealer all, on them because then your face is going to be quote unquote photoshopped. <laughs> but some people may say that. So just do that all over your forehead. No, not all over, but like where you have the zits and on your nose. And I'm going to put a tiny bit on my chin. And just so the foundation blends out with the concealer, I'm just going to put two swatches, two small swatches, not that light. So that is how you apply the concealer. That's just how I do it. You don't have to do how I do it. Just put on concealer. You can put on concealer before and after foundation. But this is, is just what works for me. And warning, please, please, please do not try to put a lot near your eye socket because this is not eye safe. So I suggest you use it very, very wisely. So now that we're done with concealer, we're going to blend it with our beauty blender. This, be this beauty blender case I just found around my room so you can't really buy it. And we're gonna use a, be a beauty blender and we're going to just blend that out like so. And also just pretend when you blend this out like you're blending a foundation. Like this side needs to connect, this side needs to connect. They all need to connect with each other. So, even if it's like a big, big base and you don't need concealer, blend it out. And don't need foundation, sorry. And you don't need foundation, blend it out because honestly it's not going to go well if you don't blend it out correctly. And I suggest if you're going to blend concealer, blend the top tip and then foundation the bottom tip which is just what I suggest but this is just what works for me for my daily but and with the forehead I'm going to use the big side because the big um, areas need a bigger control and the little areas need a more con <laughs> sorry the big areas of your face like your cheeks and your forehead need less control but your eyes and your nose need more control so you're just gonna do this throughout if you put too much concealer I suggest transferring it and basically doing this the entire time almost wiping it off if you wipe it off that's okay you can just always put more I've seen people use concealer with just their hands just wipe it on and just rub it in with their finger that's not what we do that's a completely different cycle but anyways I'm gonna go blend this in and then I will be right back okay and we're back so this might look like because of the lighting this might look like and I have a little lighter um, right here so because of the lighting my face looks different and I know I am not this white trust me like without the lighting look at my arm and look at my face that's not my real face it's just the lighting but anyways 
We have bled all of this out. Now we are going to get foundation. Now if you don't use concealer, use three drops of this. If not, use two. If you do have concealer, but very, very small drops. So we're just going to take this. And by the way, this is the L'Oreal Paris. Oh, for, oh, and for the concealer, I forgot to say the shade name. This shade name is the shade um, skin color. It's eggshell. 325 and I can't even read that but just remember it's eggshell in the color 5 2 3 2 5 sorry I can't keep track of stuff um we're gonna take our beauty blender like I said before I just got this from my house this you can buy at a dollar store or drugstore or whatever and we're just gonna put at least two two tiny drops and we're just gonna have make <laughs> God. we're just gonna make little dots all over our face so we know where to blend everything out now we're going to blend everything out we're just gonna we're not gonna rub it it's basically face painting we're going to just to just dab it because if you rub it, that's basically making it look. If you hear yelling, sorry. Um, but um, guys, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're gonna continue blending all of this out. By the way, if you do like this, it's going to make lines where the concealer was. That's just a little bit of a warning. That light's kind of annoying. Um, but we are now done with foundation. Now we're going to move on to the pre-powder. Oh, and oh, and information about the foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris Unflatable of the 24-hour fresh wear foundation. It's basically sunscreen in the number 400 and it has 1.0 fluid ounces and 30 milliliters now we are going to move on to the pre-powder which will literally take like a second so excuse me for putting all my stuff away I know my videos are normally pretty good besides this so the pre-powder is almost like a foundation so this is the Lancome pre-powder in the dull finish. And it is 120 in four. And it has, and it has 67 ounces and 19 grams. So you're gonna open this. They have a mirror in it. So here is your basically powder sponge. You're just going to do this and you want to basically swatch every single part of your face. Not like you don't have to do your eyes and face in detail. We're going to do that in a second. Put some on, on, your, on your lip as well. I'm going to tell you why in a second. But now that the pre powder is done. We're going to move on to the heavy powder, which takes a little bit of trick, so I will be right back. Okay, so with the pre-powder, this is going to be a little difficult because you're going to have more control, and it's really messy. So this is a Lancome powder. Um, it doesn't really say anything about it, so it, it, it just says, long time, no shine. It doesn't really, it's a translucent powder, I can tell you that. Um, we have powder on top. We're going to just take our brush, just put a tiny bit on it, and then pack it on the eye. And this is basically to me a replacement as a eyelid primer, which I fucking hate the eyelid primers. I don't like them at all. They're they're just shitty. But it's not my job to 
rate a project. It's my job to make makeup for you. Not make makeup, but it's my job to do makeup for you guys. Now, if your under eyes are still showing, like mine, you're going to do a heavy dose of powder. And you're just going to pack it on the bottom of, and by the way, this is why you can get powder on yourself by doing this. So please be careful of how much you use. You're going to get dust stains all over your shirt and stuff. See, look, it's, you can't see it, but there's dust and stuff there. So that stuff is going to happen. And now we're going to do the nose. Like I said, just put a heavy, heavy pack of um, powder. And that one pack of powder, that's all you're going to use for the nose. You use this and then down to the nostrils. You might get powder in your eyes, that, that powder in your eyes and powder inside your nostrils. That's just a warning. If that happens, wash your, like, keep blowing out. Just if you feel like if you keep doing that constantly, just do a, um, just keep blowing your nose until, um, you don't feel any powder anymore inside. Then we're going to take the last of my powder right here. And we're going to, like I said, we're just going to pack it on the eye and then with the lower and then with the top eye, we're going to do the same thing. And if you're new here, I forgot to say, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, please click the notification bell. So you'll notify you every time I post a new video. And if you need more, this is a pro tip. Use this as a bowl. And these little holes in here, you can basically pour powder into there. So it's actually a pretty cool mix. Don't put too much to where you're wasting it because after this you're going to blow it away and then you won't see it anymore. So don't waste it, which is what I'm doing right now. But now that we are done with the powder, with the eye portion, we are going to do the powder portion for the cheeks, which a lot of people have problems with. So we're going to take this and we're just going to put a lot in here. There's a lot of powder. We're just going to take our powder right here. And we're going to take this. There's a lot of powder on that brush. And yes, this is going to fly everywhere like it's doing, as you can see. And like it is right there. There's powder flying through. Like I said, you need to pick out a shirt or just get in your pajamas. Um, like, get in clothes that you don't care about, basically. So... That's kind of my pro tip from learning this and from doing YouTube. And listen, I've been through this millions and millions and millions of times. So, that's good. And now that the paste is peered up, we're gonna do one last time. I'm gonna take a tiny, just like a tiny bit of powder, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna take our Oh shoot, I just fell in here. We're gonna take, ah, sorry. I apparently lost something while I was looking and digging through, apparently. Oh my god, why? Sorry, we're gonna take our eyeshadow brush and do it on the lips. You don't have to, you don't have to put a lot, just a tiny bit. And that is for a reason. Basically like that. That is so you can see the um, lipstick when it's on your face. So you don't know if it's camouflaging. So you know it's there. It's it's kind of that pro tip for you to, you know, see if it's there or not. Well, kind of like that. So now that the main, that the main portion is done, the beginning portion of what we call it. Um, we are going, if you get powder in your eye, it's normal to me. It is. Um, 
we are going to do the main, main, main course of our makeup tutorial. Now we're going to go into the main course. So the products we're going to be using are is a Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner, Crayon Eyeliner, a pointy feature, and it is five grams and then 17 ounces. A black one would be the best. And for lipstick, this is a Claire's lipstick. This is classic. Um, this is a midnight black, and this costs um, literally two dollars. It comes in a single pack, and you can find it in the makeup section, obviously. If you can see this, that's the light reflecting off of this. But this is from Claire's, and it is 15 ounces to 4.5 grams. And we're going, and also we're also going to use a Jeffree Star. <laughs> Sorry, we're also going to be using a Jeffree Star liquid lip. It is a supreme gloss, as you can see. Um, I love Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star, hi, how are ya? Um, but the shade is Weirdo, and it usually says on the packaging somewhere. It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom, but I can't read it. Um, this is a really, really good, really good formula. I suggest not smelling it because it smells like like chemicals. Um, then for the brushes, we are going to be using a Wet n Wild brush, and it has a little dent in it. I'm going to cover this. It sees that 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 little dent right here, like right, like right there. Um, you can put your thumb on that, and you can use it to do your makeup that way. So you're not just everywhere or like all over the place. You can just have your thumb right there, just rest on it, and you can do it. And this is a Wet n Wild brush, by the way. And for the final thing, we're going to use a Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Um, you can find this at Morphe, at the Morphe store at Ulta. I found this one at Ulta. They don't sell that. They don't sell this there anymore. Um, and then we're going to use the shade in here, a black called Fast Line. So now that I showed you have have showed you all the products. Oh, and by the way, this is fifty one grams and one point seventy nine ounces. Um, and this is made in China, and it says the address of where it's made. Yada yada yada. But now that I explained you all the products, we're going to we're first going to use the palette and I think this this was his first palette I think and we're gonna be using the shade fast line it is a really 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 pigmented black so I suggest using it very very wisely we are going to take our brush and we're going to dip in our palette see that black whoa hold back and here's my tip you're gonna make a circle around your eyes so what we're gonna do is just do it start with it on the nose then you're going to just turn and then go straight up there you go so that is an that is a lining so you know where to stop because sometimes it's really confusing for when you're doing makeup like this it's really really confusing and you have to make it kind of grayish and kind of dark at the same time but it's really pigmented and really really powdery and really really powerful so I suggest you get a really good grip and kind of like trace it. Like for example, oh I want it underneath my my um underneath my eye, you're gonna have to do this. And this is basically the finish of the circle. So you don't have to make a whole one. And we're gonna do the same thing with the left eye. The left eye is gonna be pretty tricky. You're just going to do this turn and then down yes my left eye might be different because I am right handed but like I said you're gonna have to make it dark as possible like kind of grayish darkish light light blackish and now that I'm done doing that we're gonna start by filling um, 
the eye. By the way, I'm going to say it again, the shade in the palette is Vaseline. We're just going to fill it in. We're just basically going to fill in each eye and I will be right back when this eye is done in three, two, one. Okay, guys, I am back. So this is kind of what you want the eye to look like. Really, really dark. Very, very out there. You want to stand out. Yes, it looks like I'm a creature from a different planet. I know, but who cares? Um, we're going to do the other eye. And I'll be right back when that is done in three, two. Okay, guys, I am back. I know this is not what you expected but we're gonna deal with it so what so what i did is i made a fence on my forehead for basically blocking the demon which is me and i did the nose because there was stuff spreading all over the place and also um yes we're gonna get stained my leg is already stained black so be prepared for staining <laughs> But when there's stuff really, really, really pigmented, you really need to, you, you know, this is why I have a lot of backup stuff that we are going to use today. So now we're in the last step, the final touches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our eyeliner and we're going to do it over the fence. Yes, it's going to be really, 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 really cold and beware, this stuff does dry out really fast. So, just beware that what's going to happen to you is not going to be pretty. And I'm going to let you sit here and watch me do this because this takes a while to get completely straight and I wanted it to make a fence so I did the best that I could and this does not have to be perfect the fence is not really required this is just required like the eyes and the nose the nose if possible if it's not as neat if it's, if it's pigmented, then you can. By the way, some makeup can get in your hair when you're doing stuff like this, so be prepared for that. So that is just a warning. So I'm just doing it across the lines of the fence. I wanted to do eyeliner for the fence, but that would not be good enough. So I'm just going to keep going on and eyelining the fence. You can either make many fences on the cheeks. You can you can do a bunch of stuff like with this eyeliner. But it is very 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 difficult to do stuff with eyeliner so that's just a warning now so and also now that the um gate is done basically like a fence is done test it on there and if there's ink keep it if there's not throw it out it's not worth keeping if it's not gonna work. Um, by the way, this is pigmented as well. Everything I'm using is pigmented. So, warning, be ready for that. So that's what's right there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the same eyelid primer again, and we're going to fix um, the, um, Never mind then. Warning if you use this on the, on your eyes. Be be very very careful because this can wear out really really fast. Now we're going to do lip gloss. So the lip gloss we're gonna do this might be very very scary. 
You don't have to do this. This isn't required, but I suggest you do it. You're going to take this and put it underneath your eyes. You're going to do the same cir circle or just cover the very powdery areas like at the end of the eye or just that. There's just those kind of mistakes that you make. Just those mistakes that you made, nothing else. Yes, it looks glossy. If it does look glossy, get some more and put it on your actual eye look. Do not put it, and, I'm, and I repeat, do not put it close to your eye. Because if that happens, your eyes are dark and this is not eye safe, obviously. So be very careful if you're going to use gloss be careful or if you do, if you want to do it just make swatches on the top of your eye because what's happening is that your eyes are dark and you don't you don't basically don't want to mess them up so that's that now we're going to take some more we're not going to do the nose i think yeah, the nose, we can skip the eyes. We The nose, if you want to, you can make a, if you, if you want to do this quick, quick little look, simple. You can take it. We're going to make everything glossy with black, basically. So you're basically going to take, and it does not mess up your look. That's just a warning if you're afraid of that happening. I repeat, stop right here. Because down here, you need to breathe. So that's how you can get that covered. By the way, if you don't decide to do gloss, that's your decision. By the way, it is really, really heavy and it dries very, very quickly. So that's just a little bit of a warning if you do decide to use gloss. I'm going to do it on this side too. On the other eye. Like I said, we're going to fix those mistakes on the outer side on the outside of the eye it is okay if you do if you do make mistakes because this is why um we have um and this is a really, 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 really rough product to get off your face. Any lip product, if it is on your face or on your lips. It is a... Lip products are really difficult to get off. If they're glossy, if it's like a lipstick, they're really difficult. Especially eyeshadow craziness like this. Then, this is done. The fence, it's, it's not going to take that. It's not going to... Um, take as long as it did for the eyes you're basically going to do the same thing but you're going to do swatches so you're going to take some swatch it it's this it's the same routine as we did for the top of the eyes And you guys are going to watch me do this. Now that's done. We are going to use lipstick for the lips. So like I said, to put powder on it, this is why. So you can see it and then you can also track it. So I'm going to take this and you're just going to do this at the bottom. And you're just going to do that so the outer lip portion is even. It was close to end like this. It's a good thing. But if it doesn't, 
even both sides you can always fix them and correct them so now that we have all the finishing touches our look is complete yes you might look like a hot mess but you'll get so many compliments if it's Halloween or anything like that you will get so so many so many compliments I can tell you that now Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to stain me, so you won't see any uploads for a while until the staining is gone. Um, so, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.